In this video, I am going to be looking up Pinterest pictures and making a character based off that Pinterest picture. I am using my iPad to look up the word aesthetic on Pinterest. I screenshotted the first picture and that is what we are going to be using to make the character. Here is the picture. First, I'm going to start with some sketches of some character ideas. I got this idea from Emma Artley on YouTube. I'll link her channel in the description. She did this challenge, but a little differently, so go check out her video. It's really good. And check out her channel in general. It's just a really great channel. The first idea that came to my mind from the picture was the mystery box characters from Pop Mart. I don't know if you guys know about these, but I have been obsessed with mystery like unboxings um i have a bunch of sunny angels i have a few i only have two pop mark characters but i really like them i'm a little bit obsessed with these and i'm definitely wasting so much money on them but i also watch tiktok videos of people going and buying them and there's like a group of people that do that and vlog like them buying the stuff and opening it and they show their outfits and the colors in this picture and the character um just sitting on the subway reminded me of those videos so i wanted to make a character that dressed like that it's kind of like maximalist vibes i also just really wanted bright orange leg warmers on the character for some reason i don't really know what prompted that idea but i really wanted to do that i went with a star theme in her hair and on the cardigan obviously this is referencing the star character that's in the first picture for the next character i wanted to go for a more of a street style outfit I wanted her to have long hair and I envisioned it to be kind of a blonde but not like platinum more just like bright blonde. This is heavily inspired by Poppy from Peach Riot which is a series from Pop Mart that I've been obsessed with. I'll put some pictures on the screen to show you what I'm talking about but Pop Mart just came out with a new series of the Peach Riot characters which is like fairies and yeah that's what's making me draw this. I imagined her outfit to be blue and gray rather than the more colorful palette that I imagined for the first sketch. I didn't like this idea as much because it kind of seemed boring, lacking in the creativity the first character had. I feel like the first character looked more natural next to the picture, and so for the next sketch, I decided to combine both ideas and see if I liked that more. For this character, I went more grunge casual, but I wanted the colors to be bright like the first character sketch. Obviously, I didn't color the sketch, but the first sketch was supposed to represent the orange while the second represented the grays of the subway. I imagined the first one to have very bright colors all kind of contrasting but looking like oddly well together and after seeing all the sketches together i felt the first one really stood out as the winner not only does she give off the same vibe as the picture she just seems to have more personality than the others it just seemed natural and and i don't normally go with the first idea that comes to my mind and i definitely don't recommend doing that but this time it just worked out i decided to sketch the character riding the subway listening to music at first i wanted to make her reading or opening some mystery boxes but because i didn't have much time to make a finished drawing. I didn't want to make it too complicated so I stuck with the first idea. Initially I wasn't really planning on doing a finished drawing at all and I was just going to do some sketches and ink them in but I thought that would be kind of boring. I've been doing that for a lot of my videos right now and I don't know I just feel like I could do more. I also really struggled with the face in this sketch so not only would you not get a finished sketch you would have to end on a bad drawing which just didn't seem fair at all. I decided to name this character Lyra after a constellation. I wanted an older sounding name for her because it just fit her design. I also wanted her name to be based on the star character in the first picture. I tend to go for older names in general, I think it gives the character a personality without having to specify the personality, and I also just really like old names for women, so leave me alone bro, okay? This is when I start having problems drawing her face. I started out really good, but then the profile was wrong, so I erased all of it, which was a huge mistake. Then my big head gets in the way, so I cut out a lot of that, and I just decided to move on to my iPad for the finished drawing. I like names like Esther and Agnes. I just think they give the character so much personality right off the bat, and if you don't think that, literally you're lying, so. So a little bit about Lyra's character, I imagine Lyra is really smart and cool. I mean, of course, just look at her. 
I also imagine that she is kind of quiet and more of a loner. I think she would be really friendly and love fashion, but I don't imagine her having a lot of friends, so my bad Lyra. You're pretty lonely. Maybe that'll change for her in the future, but as of right now, she has zero friends. Kind of a loser. I think she would be really stoic and have a sense of regality to her. I think her hobbies would include sewing, designing outfits, and thrifting. Maybe she does upcycling and like sews her own outfits. I think that'd be cool. I also thought it could, would be cool if her story was surrounded by New York and maybe she's going to fashion school there and she's on her way to class and riding the subway. I feel like she would be kind of intimidating to meet and maybe that's why she doesn't have a lot of friends in school, but I think she would be overall really friendly. So I think that's just like her looks. I think she would be one of those people who are really focused on what they want to do and is somehow how really good at everything. Maybe people feel threatened by that, so they kind of exclude her. This is the final character design for Lyra. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you want to see me do this again.